Hey all, I hope all of you are doing great. Have a good time. Welcome back again to your Unacademy English channel. I'm your HSP Baba with five most important name reactions which holds a hell of a lot of weightage. The trick which I'm going to give you, this is going to help you a lot for keeping the reagent, the product, each and everything in your brain. So let's start. The first name reaction is aldol condensation. You can see in this aldol condensation, what is going to happen? This aldehyde with having acidic alpha hydrogen atom, at least two acidic alpha hydrogen atoms are required for condensation. One for formation, one for condensation. Just what to do from one molecule, you have to remove oxygen that is two negative and these two hydrogens they are having two positive charge like this this is having two negative delta negative delta negative delta positive delta positive so water will get eliminated out and you will get alpha beta unsaturated product the name of this product general name this is really very very important croton aldehyde what i said Proton aldehyde. They are not going to give you IUPAC name. They will give journal name that is trivial name. Croton aldehyde. Same. You can see this is your ketone. The name of this ketone is acetone. Now earlier one was acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde. And the name of another one is being acetone. So I would like to say whether it is aldehyde or ketone. If it is having two alpha hydrogen atoms, two alpha hydrogen atoms, two alpha hydrogen atoms attached on sp3 hybridized carbon, so they are known as acidic alpha hydrogen atoms. And you have to remove water, just remove water and get the product. In this reaction, in that reaction also, just remove water, you can get the product. That is also alpha beta unsaturated. You can see. This is your carbonyl group, the functional group, and adjacent to this functional group, this is being alpha carbon, this is beta carbon, alpha beta unsaturated. Because the reactant was aldehyde, so alpha beta aldehyde. This reactant is being ketone, so alpha beta ketone. So both of these two reactions are aldol condensation. What are you supposed to do? Just remove two acidic alpha hydrogen atoms and oxygen now this question is for you kids just try to find out pause the video and don't see the answer hey, hey hide the answer just see the question so what you are supposed to do kids see to it this is your oxygen to negative and these adjacent to this just simultaneously carbon it is attached these two are acidic alpha hydrogen atoms just remove water and you will get the product i hope that you are able to understand any question, any question of aldol condensation, you can find out answer within fraction of seconds. This was your first reaction. I hope that aldol condensation is very much clear to all of you. Now, after aldol condensation, here is Claisen condensation. This Claisen condensation is not given in your NCRT, but yes. Your examiner will definitely ask this question. This is the favorite question of examiner. Whether I talk about NEET or talk about IIT, this is the favorite question. Now see what you're supposed to do. In aldol condensation, the previous reaction, we have removed water. Now in this reaction, we have to remove alcohol. Just see. This is your acidic alpha hydrogen atom. How to find out acidic alpha hydrogen atom? This is functional group and this is your alpha carbon and this is your alpha hydrogen. Not that much acidic but yes, this is alpha hydrogen. And this proton will go along with this oxygen. Oxygen is negative, H is positive. So, ethyl alcohol has been removed and you got beta keto ester this is the reaction which is students they are not going to most often they are going to forget in the examination 99 percent students they reported that 
that time I have done silly mistake. I was not able to remind. It's this is not given an NCRT missing part of NCRT. So just remove alcohol from ester. You will get ester. This is normal ester. That is beta keto ester. So this compound is very very famous compound known as ethyl acetoacetate. If it is going to get tautomerized, you know that its enolic form is just 7% and 99, not not 93% is being keto form. So its keto form is more stable. That you must have studied in tautomerism. Now see kids. After this second reaction, Claisen condensation reaction, we are going to move towards Canizaro reaction. Canizaro reaction. This is once again. The most important reaction given in an aldehyde and ketone, all the reactions, majority of this reaction I am talking about, aldehyde ketone chapter, that is very, very big chapter. First reaction I have told you, aldol condensation, second Claisen condensation and third is Canijaro. For aldol condensation, we were requiring acetic alpha hydrogen atom, but for Canijaro reaction, see, those aldehydes without alpha hydrogen atom, so if the aldehyde is not having alpha hydrogen atom, so one RCHO, Rancho, will convert into Rexona RCOONA and another one is getting reduced to form primary alcohol RCH2OH. So aldol condensation was given by both aldehyde and ketones. There, they must be having acidic alpha hydrogen atom, but for Canizaro reaction, ketones are not there only aldehyde and aldehydes which do not have alpha hydrogen atom. So two aldehydes are there, number of others are there, but these two are very, very famous. One is being formaldehyde, another one is being benzaldehyde. They are not having alpha hydrogen. So C, hydrogen considered to be R, RCOONA and RCH2OH. And here C6H5 is R, phenyl is R. C6H5COONA. This is sodium benzoate used as um, preservative, making pickles. Now that is benzyl alcohol. One is being oxidized product, another one is being reduced product. So three reactions we have seen, and these reactions are really very very important. You can keep it in your brain for a memory and you are not going to forget it's a challenge now fourth reaction is being iodoform test this is also given in your aldehyde and ketone chapter and this is going to be really important iodoform test no exam is there the examiner has definitely to us aldol condensation carijaro reaction and iodoform test just see what is this so many things i have written it's this I was thinking in my brain. Let me tell you the mechanism also so that kids can understand. RCO CH3. See, three acidic alpha hydrogen atoms are there, three moles of NaOH, 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 NaOH. So OH negative, H positive. Water is getting removed. Three moles of water is getting removed because acid base neutralization RCOCH3 the molecules which are having RCOCH3 CH3 means carbonyl methyl COCH3 is must the necessary condition and three hydrogens will go along with Na plus Na plus OH negative is there Na plus OH negative so OH is a base and these three are acidic alpha hydrogen atoms three acidic alpha hydrogen atoms will eliminate out and in place of those three acidic alpha hydrogen atoms, three iodine will take the position. How? Because OH negative has gone along with H plus to form water. Now Na plus will go along with I negative. Here it must be I negative, I negative, I negative. So I negative Na plus will go, I negative Na plus NaI, I negative Na plus NaI, I plus three I plus will remain and these three I plus will definitely form bond with carbon because of three negative charge. So we got RCOCI3. If I write RCOCI3, that means any compound whether it is RCOCH3 
or it is RCOI3, all these compounds will show iodoform test. Now see, it is reacting once again with I2NOH to form RCOONA, Rexona plus yellow PPT, iodoform. This is really very, very important. So let's solve one question. Don't see the answer. Try to solve these two questions. RCOCS3, I2NOH. They can also give you NaOI, sodium hypoiodite. Now it will form RCONA, salt and water along with this yellow PPT. You can see yellow PPT. It's everyone is able to understand this is being yellow PPT. Now RCOCS3, this will form RCONA, iodoform, salt and water. Everyone is able to understand kids do let me know. Yes. Now the last but not the least reaction Hoffman bromamide degradation. Hoffman bromamide degradation reaction is really very very important. In some books its name can be given as Hoffman bromide rearrangement or Hoffman bromide degradation or Hoffman bromamide degradation and this there is shortening of chain by bond carbon. One degree amide gets converted into one degree amine. You can see one degree amide got converted into one degree amine. That CO group, one carbon has been lost in presence of Br to KOH. KOBr is potassium hyperbromide. Whether it is given as Br to KOH or it is given as potassium hyperbromide, that is KOBr. Same reaction will take place. That one degree amide will convert into one degree amine. It's this is the series where I am going to tell you whatever the things just in 10 minutes 20 marks. These five reactions I will let you know in detail. Once if you are having these reactions in your mind then we can go with in-depth knowledge the mechanism because for this reaction whatever the intermediates four intermediates are formed during this reaction they are also very very important but before that we have to keep whatever is the reactant what's the reagent and what's the product all these things in our brain because these things are very very important so see once if you are able to understand rcnh2 rnh2 rcnh2 rnh2 rcnh2 just remove co you got the product rcnh2 just remove co you will get the product. So, oh, oh, this is all about kids. The five reactions in 10 minutes and short 20 marks. Let me tell you personally, if I say more than 20 marks, because these five reactions are the backbone of organic chemistry. So, kids, if you liked it, do let me know. If you enjoyed it, this topic, these reactions and the trick, please do let me know in the comment section because your comments are giving the correct feedback and motivating your teacher. The teachers motivate you and you have to write down the clear cut comments from the brain or you can apply by heart. So, correct comments, do let me know that district really helping you or not. All the best. Jai.